Welcome to uh, MIS 5390 Project Design and Management. Um, this is the, the structure of the course on Blackboard. Uh, either this or a very similar structure uh, is what you're going to be seeing if you uh, log into Blackboard into, for this course. Um, there are three main areas. Uh, this is, if you click here, you're going to be taken to this page where there are a number of uh, uh, documents and links. Uh, there's a general course information area where you're going to see the syllabus, link to the syllabus, uh, self-introduction video for the instructor, myself, uh, the, uh, my webpage at TAMIU or the, the webpage that uh, TAMIU redirects to. Uh, it's not actually my web page, it's, uh, it's another web page, but that's that's what TAMU is uh, redirecting. Um, uh, someone who tries to get my page too. So syllabus, here's the report template. This course is uh, a project-oriented course. So the main goal of uh, your, 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 your work is to develop a project and uh, this is the template that you're going to write for this project. There are several videos here. This is course overview, this video that I'm creating now, and uh, it will be linked here, and I'm going to be creating a few other videos as well. This is some information about Script Warp Systems. That's a company that I own, and it's a technology-based organization. I'm going to use this uh, as an example. Uh, of uh, a company and uh, in your project uh, what you're going to be doing is developing a company that uh, should compete with Uber Freight and uh, because of that I'm providing several links here with information about uh, Uber Freight now this is provided here for your convenience, but you should do your own research um, about Uber Freight and other companies. Now I have several links for Uber Freight. I have links for other businesses, uh, one for Uber. So Uber Freight is actually a division of Uber Technologies. Uh, Sage Robinson Worldwide is a company that uh, provides uh, uh, trucking services uh, connecting truckers and shippers and so they are in a sense what Uber Freight is trying to compete against and uh, so CH Robinson does not own any trucks XPO Logistics is another company that would probably be a good example for uh, student teams to study so we have several links. They are similar to C.H. Robinson, but they do own some trucks. Then you have J.B. Hunt, Warner, Knight Swift, and Old Dominion. These are trucking companies. So the company that you will create as part of this course would be competing with Uber Freight and connecting uh, truckers with shippers. And it would essentially be a website that would allow uh, truckers to essentially bid for uh, shipments from shippers. Now, C.H. Robinson is probably the, the best example of uh, competition uh, for company you're going to be creating. And if you click on the first link here, that's the Yahoo Finance link for C.H. Robinson. If you go to statistics, you will see that Sage Robinson, at the time of this video's creation, had uh, 15 billion, a little more than 15 billion dollars in revenues per year. So this gives you a size of uh, this market because this is a single company. Uh, even though it's uh, probably one of the leaders, maybe the leader in, in the trucking uh, area. Uh, 
by the way, Sage Robinson I should mention they do not own trucks. So in a sense, they are a bit similar to Uber Freight, which doesn't own any trucks, and different from uh, um, JB Hunt, uh, all the many etc. The trucking companies that those companies own trucks. So this is the site. Uh, we also have a discussion board for this course. Um, and the discussion board, we have general course information. I suggest you use this um, to also maybe interact uh, with other uh, students to form student teams. You're going to have to form them yourselves. Uh, Here's where you're going to be posting student teams information. Here's where, where you're going to be posting your project progress presentations. And here you can post questions and I'll provide answers, typically using video clips. Um, so this would be the discussion board. This is Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. This is a collaboration tool that is uh, real-time collaboration. So if you come here and you click here, you would be able to join a course room. And uh, I may use this to interact uh, in real-time with uh, the class uh, or with teams to answer their questions. So if you click here, you go to this page and if you click here you go to the syllabus so the syllabus is very detailed and I really need you to uh, read the syllabus very carefully in fact to do well in this course what you need to do is to reveal all of the materials that I'm providing to you and do everything that I'm asking uh, th there is no subjective uh, evaluation of your uh, performance in this course is very objective and one key element is reading all of the materials that I provide reviewing all the videos that I provide to you so if you don't do that it will become clear uh, in in the questions uh, that you come up with uh, that you're not reading the materials that I have provided so this is the syllabus I need you to read this very carefully and uh, that reading it very carefully is part of doing well it's one of the main things that you need to do to do well in this course this course so if I go to one of the links here for for the syllabus so you're gonna have to create uh, teams with between three and seven student members uh, and provide information about this so you're going to create teams yourselves uh, using any any uh, communication to you decide to use you can use whatsapp you can use uh, anything you may have people that you know already that uh, uh, you 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 will talk to uh, in order to uh, form the teams. Uh, the teams will form themselves and select team leaders. It's very important that you select your team leaders carefully. And the course project will be, and that's essentially the course, it's a, it's a project, right? So everything you're going to be doing, all the materials that I'm providing, uh, help you create this new technology enabled business organization that is expected to grow over a period of 10 years. And the organization will connect truckers or trucking firms and shippers through a website and related technologies. So a good model for this organization would be Uber Freight and C.H. Robinson because C.H. Robinson uh, is, does not own trucks, but they are different from Uber Freight in that they have the connections with uh, the trucking companies and the shippers uh, whereas Uber Freight lets shippers come and uh, post uh, shipments that they need to 
to do and then let truckers to bid for those ship shipments now this organization that you're going to develop is expected to have revenues of one billion dollars by the 10th year of its existence and the student team members should see themselves as the founders of the organization and develop their project as such and uh, most of what you need to do for this project is explained in the report template that is available here uh, here's very important for you to do well in this course you should not see this course in this project you're doing as uh, a toy project okay so the question is if you if you want to be successful in your project for this course you should develop an organization that will be successful in the real world or at least you should try to do that you should not try to come up with a project that will satisfy me the instructor you should do something that will be successful in the real world that's what's going to make you uh, be successful in this course so please read the syllabus carefully form the teams and we'll go from there thank you